After our win in the previous week of the BBR, your Hair Horde Pokemon Club are now 5-0, which means we have guaranteed our spot in playoffs. For week 6 of the BBRD League, we will be taking on Wreck-It Mike and his Virginia Victinis. Before we get into the meat and potato of things, if you do end up enjoying the video, then be awesome if you could leave a like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 150 subscribers by the end of the season. With that being said, let's look at this week's matchup. Now, before breaking down the matchup itself, it's important for me to be fully transparent here. Like I said earlier, both me and Mike are pretty much locked in for playoffs, which means we could potentially play each other later down the line. I don't think it would be very wise for me to bring my absolute best team in this matchup and give away my best strategy. So this week, we are bringing a bit of a B team. I fully expect Mike to do the same as, like I said, it would be the smarter thing to do. We are still going to try our hardest to win, but if we do end up losing, I would not be super sad. So Mike has arguably the best Pokemon in the format in Dragapult, and to make it even scarier, this thing can terrestrialize into either a ghost type or a fire type. Looking at my team, I really don't have the best ghost answers, so this one is tricky. Pokemon like Glamora, Meowskarata, and Scissor are also incredibly dangerous for my team, and I can't really discount Mousehold or Flamigo either from this equation, so we are in for a bit of a rough one. First Pokemon on our team is our Terra Captain, Dragonite, with Terra Normal, D Deed, Extreme Speed, and Coverage moves to hit the rest of the team. I am fully expecting a Scarf Terra Ghost Dragapult to stop this set, but if that doesn't come, then this could just sweep. Next up, Iron Bundle comes again with Heavy Duty Boots, as it is, once again, very difficult to switch into. The other four mons on the team are bulky pivots, and the aim is to weaken down everything with spikes and other moves, so hopefully Dragonite can go ahead and sweep. Even with this B team, I am fully confident in a win, so without any further ado, let's hop into the battle. All right, let's do this, Michael. I like playing here. This is a this is a night a nice play. So he leads off with Nighthawk, which is his Dragapult. Um, this man brought a whole ass Pikachu, and I am low key scared of it because I'm not gonna lie, I did not put a single ounce of prep into that mother trucker so i'm kind of scared um in theory this is a very favorable matchup for me right but i'm sure mike has something up his sleeve i'm just gonna go ahead and click ruination because i think it's a good middle ground play he's just gonna click the u-turn that's going to do a lot of damage potentially oh that's a crit okay no great start to the game a hundred percent i agree with this start a crit on the first turn is fantastic now if i could crit my ruination and instead of doing 50 percent do a hundred percent that would be pretty nice Billy Gunn is going to be the scissor. Uh, good news is I am Resto Chesto on my Tinglu, so I am always able to, um, I am always able to sort of get my health back. And there's a couple of things that I'll be able to do this on, mainly that Dragapult again if we come down to that matchup. Um, I'm just going to go out into my uh, Rocky Helmet Klefki now. Probably going to see a U-turn come out here, which is obviously what makes the most amount of sense. Uh, so Klefki coming in will be pretty nice as well. Okay, so we're going to switch. Um, I think we'll see the U-turn, right? That's the play that makes the most amount of sense. Because um, Bullet Punch, yeah, U-turn. 162 down to 149. We'll get a bit of Rocky Helmet off on this thing as well. We don't get the Rocky Helmet because he has protective pads. Okay, good to know. Uh, we know he's protective pads. He does not know that I am... Um, he doesn't know that I'm freaking... What do you call it? Uh, Rocky Helmet. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Uh, we probably see an overheat here. I'm just going to see if my Tinglu can actually take an overheat into another overheat and see if I can get a rest off because that would be a pretty good opportunity to do it. Right, so even if he's modest, he can't 2A KO me with two overheats if he's max modest. So I'm going to go out into my Tinglu and I'm going to get a rest off and uh, I'll be able to get back to full HP. It's not exactly the way I wanted to use the Tinglu, but because of the crit, it's kind of like the way I'm forced to do it. So he clicks overheat. We'll see if this is specs or not. Uh, no, that does not seem to be specs at all. That did 45 damage, so that is not offensive Rotom at all. That is a defensive Rotom if I've ever seen one. Um, what could he go out into right now that would scare me? He probably goes out into the Scissor again. I'm just going to go ahead and click Rest. Uh, he might click... Uh, he clicked... Oh, he was... What? Um, fucking Ring Target for the Pikachu? Yeah, ring target for the Pikachu. Makes sense. Um, I wanted to get my Resto Chesto off, but that's that was not very nice of you, Mike. Uh, he can now essentially click uh, Flying Move for free. Just, uh, not Flying Move, Electric Move, which is a little bit scary, but I think it's fine. I do have a new capture card, and I'm kind of like super trying to figure out if this thing is lagging or not, because I kind of get the idea that it might be lagging a little bit, 
but the UI, it, like, it, it seems to be going through, like, relatively, um, seems to be going through relatively okay. Um, so, hopefully it's, hopefully it's not lagging. Uh, what, 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 what do you want to switch into here? Um, because there's no way he stays in, right? He's at minus two. There's no point. He might go out into, like, uh, the Meowscarada or something like that. So, I think I'm going to go out into my, um, Buffkey. He's actually going to stay in. Oh, because he can Volt Switch. I'm so stupid. He can Volt Switch on me. Duh. Duh, he can Volt Switch on me because the ring target. I kind of forgot about that. I'm not going to lie. That's fine, though. That's fine because um, there's not really anything that wants to uh, come in outside of the Rotom. So if I can get a spike up, then I'll be okay with that. Unless the Pikachu just comes in and he's just going to... Yeah, he's going to just go into Pikachu. Um, right. I don't think I didn't think I was ever going to need to calc for a Pikachu, but I have to, so I'm calcing. Okay, this is going to do a lot of damage, but I don't think it's going to be enough to kill me. Because if he's a max adamant volt tackle, that does 74 max. And I am at way more than that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click foul play. Thunderbolt, actually. Okay, I didn't calc special. We still live in, which is nice. Play rough. We get the hit off. That almost kills him off too, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, I think I think I just eh, I kind of want to keep this thing uh, around for Rocky Helmet, you know. Uh, I don't know what moves Pikachu gets, but I'm going to go out into my um, I'm going to go out into my own Rotom because I, if I can still get like a spike up or a T wave off on something, then I'd be happy with that. Um, because I don't really know what Pikachu wants to do. It's just going to Volt Switch. Okay, that's not going to do a lot of damage. Pikachu, you suck. You suck, Pikachu. Gonna go into Selena Kyle, which is the Meowscarada. In fact, it is. And we probably just see a U turn here, I think. I think we're just gonna see U turn here. Uh, I'm going to Volt Switch, I think. What if he goes out into Pikachu again? What if he's baiting the Volt Switch to try to go back out into Pikachu? I'm gonna Will O Wisp. U turn. He probably goes. Yeah, so he is Proton. He probably goes out into his Rotom, actually. Um, I just don't want him to go out into this Pikachu. And I didn't I didn't want to give that thing lightning rod. Because that would raise his special attack by one, and that would be very bad for me. Goes out into Dexter. Okay, so he does go out into his own Rotom, which is definitely very unfortunate. Definitely, definitely very unfortunate. I was close to clicking uh Volt Switch, but again, the 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 the, 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 the fear of Pikachu was real. The fear of Pikachu was real. I think I'll go out into Tinglu and I will get, I will try to burn a couple of sleep turns. I think that's fine. Cause he, he should definitely go for like an overheat here. So what are we going to see? We do see a Volt Switch. Okay. Frick. Frick. Truth is like, I couldn't really do much to him, but I, I'd probably be slower if I had to guess cause I don't have any speed investment. So maybe a slow Volt Switch was the play there. I want to get a spike up to be able to like break a sash on Glamora. That's what I want to do. Goes out into Billy Gun. Um, right, Billy Gun, you are annoying for me to deal with. I think I'm gonna get like I think I'm gonna let go of my Rotom. I don't I don't really see what else Rotom is gonna do in this matchup. Um, I kind of brought it sort of like as a pivot for the Slow King, but Slow King's not here, so I, I'm I'm just gonna sack this thing off. We know this thing is protective pads, so I think we should be okay in that front. All right, so we're going to see Nighthawk, the lively. So we're going to see Dragapult again. Um, I'm just going to go straight out into my... Um, straight out into my Azumarill. And I think I'm going to click a water move over in a uh, 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 freaking... Yeah, I'm going to click a water move because I think we're just going to see a U-turn here or something, right? Because um, he doesn't really have a fairy... Like, his only fairy resist is the scissor, so I could kind of expect the scissor to come in here. So I want to go for liquidation because I don't imagine he would stay in on a full HP um, Azu because he doesn't know if I'm banded, doesn't know if I'm assault vested. Yeah, he does just go for the U-turn. And hopefully we'll see a scissor here. If we see Scissor here, that'd be pretty nice. Because I think the play rough is a pretty it was a pretty obvious click there. So hopefully we see Billy Gun. Show me the Billy Gun. Show me Oh, it just sacks off Pikachu. Damn. Damn, what a sad, sad little life you have, Pikachu. Can't even get a kill. Wow, Pikachu, you suck. Who knew? 
who knew Pikachu, the, the the fucking mascot of the franchise, was the face of the franchise? It was terrible. Dexter comes out. Um, that's the Rotom again. Rotom is becoming increasingly annoying. We are for sure going to see a Volt Switch here. Um, I'm actually just going to protect. I want to see what you're going to do. I want to see if we, if you have the Will-O-Wisp, if you got the Volt Switch, what we, what we do in here. Yeah, you do have the will, the Will-O-Wisp. Yeah, that's kind of what I was scared of. I know what I was scared of. Uh, we probably see the Volt Switch now, but I'm okay with going out into my uh, Tinglu. I'm okay with going out into my Tinglu. I don't know if I burned a turn of sleep. I wish there was a way you could like check the how many uh, turns you've been asleep. Is there a way? I don't know. Maybe there is a way in the in the UI, but I doubt there's a way. I don't think there's a way. We see the Volt Switch now. Okay, fair enough. Um, he might just go out into his Meowskarada, which would definitely be annoying. Just goes back out into Billy Gun. Okay. Okay, Jose. I'm just kind of scared of this thing going for an SD. That's kind of what I'm scared of. But I also, at the same time, I want to burn a turn of sleep. But does it? Does it tell me if I've burned a turn of sleep? It does not tell me that. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and stay in for now. He's going to U-turn. Yeah. That did a lot of damage, brother. That did a lot of damage. Okay. Are you just going to kill me? Go ahead and uh, just end me. I, I Because you don't, you really don't serve any purpose now, Tinglu. Like, I'm sorry to break it to you, but the moment you got the ring target, you lost any value you had. So, I'm letting you go down. This U-turn again. And that, of course, is going to kill. All right, we're going to see Billy Gun again. We're going to see this annoying piece of shit. We're going to see this annoying piece of shit. Uh, I think I'm just going to go out into Iron Bundle. I think I'll go out into Iron Bundle, and I think I am just going to go ahead and click Hydro Pump. If this thing wants to bullet punch me, it'll do like 40-ish percent. Um... But Hydro Pump, I think, is is, is fine here. It's going to force him to take a huge chunk with something, at least. So I think it's fine. So he goes for the BP. That does about, yeah, half. Hydro Pump does hit. Okay, perfect. Uh, Bundle never really needs health anyway, so I think it's fine. Bundle doesn't ever need health anyways. Like, yeah, he's, he's protective pads. It's just weird. It is just weird. So he's going to go out into this thing. Um, we'll just go out into our zoom roll. If he U-turns, that's a pretty bold play, I'd say. He, uh, like, as far as I'm aware, he's just gonna like Terra Ghost and click Terra Blast and just like do like a million to something. But I don't really have any outs to that, so. But we'll see the switch come out from us. And out comes the Azumarill. Oh my God, he hit the thunder. Bro, this game is, uh, something. He, he fucking hits the thunder. That is unfortunate. I'm just going to go ahead and protect. We'll probably see, uh, he's going to switch into what? Into the Rotom. He probably knew I was going to protect. So fair, fair call on him. Fair call from him. Um, I think I definitely died to a Volt Switch from here, but I'm kind of tempted to just stay in and click, uh, Liquidation. Yeah, Volt Switch is going to do a tremendous amount, but I don't really want to... I don't really want to switch out into anything else, so I'm just going to go ahead and Aqua Jet. I'll just Aqua Jet, I'll get, like, 50% off on this thing. Yeah, sort of, like, about the 50-ish percent. He clicks Volt Switch. My play now is to go Klefki, set up a spike, and just try to win with, uh, Dragonite. Gonna go on to Nighthawk the Lively. Okay, so this is a perfect opportunity for me to go to Klefki. I'll even scare him out with a Thunder Wave. So uh, I think a Spike is good here. Spike, Sack. Actually, the Rotom has Thunder Wave, so I might not be able to set up uh, set up on it with the uh, with the uh, Dragonite. But I can go Iron Bundle. I can go Iron Bundle and click Hydro Pump. And then from there. Um, we just got to see what we got to see. Bike is going to come off and kind of wish like I didn't have, I did, I did consider going light screen over Thunder Wave. 
but I didn't, so it's it's fine. It's fine. Uh, he's gonna Volt Switch out. Okay, that's pretty good. Volt Switch. He probably goes out into something that would stop my something that would stop my Dragonite from setting up is what I imagine happens here. Goes back into Nighthawk the Lively. Okay. I'm gonna get hurt by the back and I'm gonna go out into Dragonite now. And now it's a mind game of do I Terra, do I not Terra? I think I, I think I think my play is 100% to Terra. Like I don't want to take super effective hit from like a Dragon type. This thing might even be scarfed just to prevent me from being able to sweep him. Like if he's scarfed into a um, into like a Terra uh, Ghost, is just why I'd, what I'd imagine. Uh, and yeah, th there's no way for us to win the game right now, but we'll try. He's gonna tear himself as well into Ghost. Yeah, that's that's what I expected. Like, there's no way Fire was coming here. Like, Terra Ghost is just so free against my team. There was there was no way. Probably just clicks U-turn too. Like, I'd imagine U-turn is um, fairly obvious, fairly safe for him to click. Looks darts actually. Okay. We live in. Oh, come on with the crits, brother. Come on with the crits. Yeah, I I think there's there I think I had to get to like plus three to be able to do anything to this thing. I think I had to get to plus three to be able to do anything. Yeah, because earthquake at plus one does not do it. So I just I just have to go to plus two and hope he's not scarfed. But that crit really was unfortunate. I don't know how much it's gonna matter, but I, like I'm fairly confident he's gonna be scarfed. Like I'm fairly confident this dragapult is scarfed. Either this thing or the um. Yeah, right. But no, it should, it should definitely be this thing because he can try, he can tear it into a ghost type. So we'll probably just see a scarf dragapult here, which is what makes sense. It's kind of what I was expecting in prep, anyways. Uh, this matchup was yeah, it's scarfed. This matchup was mainly to like try to sort of scout uh, what Mike would potentially bring in a in a rematch because we're pretty much locked in for playoffs, both of us at the moment. So I just kind of wanted to see what he would respond with to certain threats with and uh i think the matchup was uh i think it was a useful uh sort of like a useful uh scouting session let's call it that you a useful scouting session because i did uh he, he basically brought what i thought he would bring which is like scarf terra uh terra ghost dragapult because it's just the obvious thing to bring against a, a, a dragonite right it was just the most obvious thing um obviously pikachu's not coming in a potential matchup he did that uh, because it's a potential matchup so like a rematch so he's obviously not going to bring his A, A game either, but uh, this is uh, this is good to know. This is very very good to know. He's actually going to switch out into the Rotom, I would assume. Yeah, Rotom just essentially like means he there is no way for him to lose because he just goes out into um, Dragapult next. He clicks like a um, he clicks a uh, Shadow Ball and he just wins the game. So GG to Mike, we're going to take our first L in the BBR, but honestly, like I said in the intro, the mindset going into this game was not so much to win. Obviously, I wanted to win and I built a team I, I felt like could win, but uh, is this thing also Scarfed, brother? Is this thing also Scarfed or is he Yachi Berry? I would assume Yachi Berry, right? Unless he's double scarfed. Yeah, he's double scarfed. Okay. Um, like I was saying, like the, the goal going into this matchup was essentially to scout for any potential sets that he could bring and like see what his responses to my biggest threats would be and stuff like that. Um, so losing here is obviously not the end of the world. I was kind of okay with losing when going into the game. Um, but I, I learned a lot of valuable information from this matchup. So GG to Mike once again. Um, links will, uh, to all the gorges will be down in the description below. Thank you for checking out the video and uh, I will see you all next week. Peace.